Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. That was so surreal. Famously called film, famously called called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about talking about photography, as he as he likely was. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I didn't life? fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Keep, keep that to yourself, yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. I can't believe I still have this pencil she case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. I admit, but I like it old school. Work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. We've all seen but that I like it old school. Shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Now, but I like it old school. Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. <laughs> Sorry. I know. So if anybody wants to question... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think?
Except in the portrait is modern narcissism. They could go back hundreds of years to blame society. Speaking of questions, I bet you thought I'd... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? It's your turn I can hear the us. class laughing at now, me now. Based on the chapters, I have no doubt you all memorized. Who can tell me the name of the actual process that led to the birth of the self-portrait? Anybody? This does not bode well. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. You have just by participating. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel This is ridiculous. This I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. The world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye and everybody should oh, have that totally. shape. You can never escape the lighthouse here. I only right. want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your intro. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur.
Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses? And look at that vintage rangefinder! What?